Hey guys, what's up? It's Anish here today with an amazing beginner card trick to show you guys. I know how stressful it is learning an advanced trick and having the pressure of performing all the sleight of hand movements right and just messing up on the big stage or in front of your friends or wherever you're performing. Beginner tricks are much easier to learn but at the same time get the same effective reaction from the audience because they're still amazed at how the trick is done even though it doesn't have all those fancy slights. So with that being said, if you guys like the content I do post on this channel, please do like, comment, and subscribe on my videos, and let's get you into this trick. Oh wait, we're recording? Okay guys, so we're gonna get on straight with the trick, get straight into the shuffles, shuffle the cards once, twice, thrice, how many other times the spectator wants you to shuffle the cards, okay? We could give it to them. So. I'm going to spread out the cards in my hands, and before that, I'm going to show you that these cards are different, correct? Like, the cards you see here, they're, they're all different. I'm not cheating or anything, I don't have the same cards, I don't have gimmick cards. I want you to go ahead and pick any card of your choice. I'm going to spread the cards out to the spectator, free choice. They can select whatever card they want. Let's suppose they select this card. I hope I'm showing it to the camera, please. Okay. And I hope you guys got that. So what I'm going to do is I want the spectator to go ahead and call stop at any point again. This time it's to put the card inside the deck. So free choice, I'm going to go all the way down, all the way back up, all the way down, all the way back up. And I have a spectator, I'm going to call it right about here. That looks good. That looks good. That looks very good. I'm going to push the card inside. Uh, they could push the card inside if they really wanted to. And I'm going to place the deck down. I'm going to use my telepathic telekinesis senses and tell them that the card has now come all the way to the top. Snap my fingers, your card, the Joker. Wait, what, it's, it's not the Joker? Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, give me one more try, come on. This was my first attempt. The Queen of Clubs, your card. What, no way it's not the Queen of Clubs, you're lying. You're lying straight to my face. Okay, we'll play it your way. With a snap of my fingers, like so. Your card has, I mean, the entire deck itself has now turned face up. Except one card in the middle of all of this that is face down. One card out of these 54 cards, two jokers included, has turned face down. Snap my fingers. I want you to turn around that card. That's in fact your card. The 10 of clubs. Okay, it's time to check the recording to see if that's actually the 10 of clubs. Great, so that was the trick. It was a simple trick, but at the same time, it's really fun to perform. I'm so happy to say that this trick doesn't have any slights at all, unless you want to do a slightly modified version that I have uh, improvised on my, by myself. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and make that in a separate video. But for now, it's just the beginner version, but it's really cool, it's really fun, and it gets great reactions. So there's a very small setup for this trick. All you have to do is take the bottom three cards and flip them around. No matter what the cards are, these three cards don't matter. All you have to do is flip them around. Then, you go ahead and start dealing shuffles, right? So this is the first part we have to keep something in mind. Since three cards are face down over here, you have to go ahead and shuffle from the middle. So take a middle packet of cards, and then deal shuffles, so shuffle like that. Just tell them, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give a shuffle. Never give them a chance to say, uh, okay, can I, go, can I go and try shuffling? Don't give the chance for the spectator to say that. So as soon as you say, okay, I'm gonna show you a magic trick, you start shuffling and you see, okay, as you can see, I'm shuffling nice and hard, right? And then they're like, yeah, yeah, you are. And then you just go with that. You don't give them a, a chance to say, can I go ahead and shuffle? Because that's happened sometimes and, and I, I gotta be honest, I don't like it. Okay, so uh, once you got the shuffle, shuffling down, you go ahead, spread out the cards to the spectator, and you ask them to pick any card of their choice. They go ahead and do so. So 99% of the time, actually more than that, 99.99% .99 of the time, the people pick a card from the middle when you ask them, okay, go ahead and select any card from the middle. Some people, however, they like messing up your trick a lot and they're like okay i'm gonna go ahead and select one from the bottom just to fool you and if they see that face up card they're gonna know that you did something so those kind of people you can't really do anything just go ahead and let them be but i'm just saying a majority of the public who are willing to be impressed 
take cards from the middle. So let's assume they took this card, the Queen of Diamonds. So you hand this card over to them. This is this how it goes in the performance when the spectator is right there. You hand the card over to them. You say, take a look at it, show it to your friends if there's anyone nearby. And that's your cue to kind of turn around and turn this deck upside down. And since we have these three cards face down here, it's still going to look like a face down deck. So while they're looking at their card, while they're busy looking, your hand, which is back there next to you, it's going to do that small flip and that's about it. So it still looks like it's a normal deck of cards and then you're going to re-extend your hand back to the spectator and you're going to be like, okay, go ahead and insert your card anywhere into the deck. So go ahead, insert it. You can even ask them to push it inside, okay? They go ahead and push the card inside. So this is our setup at the moment. We have three face down cards, the entire deck face up, except this one face down card. I feel like you know where the trick is going from here, but I'm going to complete it anyways for the sake of those who don't. So I'm going to go ahead and show the first card, maybe like this is your card and this process you can make it really dramatic. You could be like, through my powers I've made the card jump all the way to the top and you pushed it inside, right? And then you can make it really dramatic and then you show it to them and then they're like, no, that isn't. And then you're just confused, <laughs> right? So then you're like, okay, give me one more try. Because in reality, you know where the card is. You have it all set up. You're just acting like you don't know in this case. Give me another try. And then you do that again. Now it's important when you're turning over these cards, don't flash anything under. Because if you do, um, then it's going to be real messy for you. They're going to figure out how you did the trick. So show one, you show two, and they're still like, no, man, you didn't get it. And then you're going to be like, ah, oh, I really thought I could do some good magic. And you place them face face up, he's like, okay, but wait, let me give it one last try. I hope the magic gods are with me. It's honestly your lines, just improvise. And you go ahead, snap your fingers, and while you're snapping, give the deck a bit of a shake. That shake makes it seem like it just changed in some way. If you're gonna keep it stationary and do that, that doesn't really look appealing to the eye. Do that, that subtle change, that's gonna make all the difference. So you take both these cards, you put them face up, you do the snap, and just like that, everything has turned face up. Now, there is the third card over here, right? So you gotta be careful not to reveal the third card. Do like a push of around, you could do seven or eight cards off the top of the deck and then just continue going through the deck because they're gonna be surprised seeing that the entire deck is face up and they're gonna see this one face down card. So. There's two ways you could do this. You could spread the deck out like I did, but there's chances of really revealing the card more. Or you could go ahead and spread the cards out like this and just, uh, I don't know if you could see it in the camera view, but over here, I just stop with a packet of cards on the right edge. Wait, can you guys see this? Yeah, you can. I just stopped with a packet of cards on this right edge not to reveal that third card. And then from here on out, you could go ahead, ask them to remove their card turn it over, and it's their card, the Queen of Diamonds. Now you are left with this one face down card, but in between uh, tricks, if you're showing them multiple tricks, you could just go ahead and turn it around. If it's the only trick, then it's easy to take your deck home and then turn it around. So guys, that was the trick. That was the beginner version of the trick. It required no slights at all, and it's a really effective trick to perform. Now, I did modify this trick a bit, and I like like the modifications I made. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another tutorial very near in the future. And I'm gonna be showing that advanced version as well. But that's just the beginner version. I mean, it's not bad being a beginner. You're just starting off somewhere. And the more you learn, the more you're gonna improve. And eventually you're gonna reach um, intermediate tricks and then eventually advanced tricks. So thank you all for watching this video so much. If you guys like the content I'm posting on this channel, Please do like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And with that being said, hope you all have a great day. See you all later, and peace.